episode 181 Maloka Lee. Uh, how are you? Are you well? Am I loud? I got a 10 year stretch, so I got some skins. I got them up my sphincter. Up, I got up, up. a little lump of smokey poo and I'm going to the jail town. All the boys can touch me, they can poke me, but they can't put their dicks inside me. I <laughs> no. don't want my piece of cannabis pushed too far up that my fingers can't reach. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghettos, welcome, Scott, to what episode is this? Episode 181. Am I loud? Oh, you're fucking dead. 180. 179? It's 182, <laughs> listeners. No, Isley. It can't it be. Listen, listen, listen. The live one came out. That right. was 179. 180 came out. Is uh, it? Anyway, whatever one I edited. This is 181 then. We're in the future. Wow. Just answer the question. Am I dead loud to you? Because right now, in my ears, I'm deaf no, to myself. No, it sounds good. It sounds good. Right, what's going on there? It I'm sounds good. I'm going to go to fucking Spotify. Spotify. And just to double check what... It, I mean, this is... You know, I, I've One, moved two, my hang room. Better. I've moved my hang room because you finally broke and couldn't handle the mess in my room and my wife crawling into the fucking... Uh, well, I mean, it's just the fact studio. that these, uh, there's no, you know, uh, continuity. I thought, what happened to the background? I thought you were getting a cutting up like your old dad here. Aye, well, do you want to tell the listeners? Do you the want to tell the listeners why that's not happening? Scott said to me, "Just uh, <laughs> get a wee uh, cutting out of IKEA, blah blah." Hey, no bother. That's brilliant. Sounds fucking great. I put it over my duke. Bro, and then I just said to her, "I'm just going to put a cutting rail up here." And that she went, "No, you're no. This is temporary for you. Once you get your studio, you can do what you want." Right. Well, do you know what? So, well, uh, that's when you. That's when you should have done one or two things. Right. One, you should have either put your hands down your trousers and felt some testicles. And if you still got testicles, stand up to the wife or use your man brain and have a workaround because all you had to do was get two of the wee hooks, three of the wee hooks, put that in the wall, right? And then get the curtains that have got the eyelets on it and just hook the eyelets on. So you've not got a curtain rail up. So you just got something that's hooked up. And then see when you're gone and you've been sent out of that house, she could hang some fairy lights there or whatever it is a fucking bird's day when you're not about. I was saying this to my mate the other day there who said they didn't like you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I say he's a fucking great guy. He's brilliant for like chef tips. I say to that and, and things like this. I hooks, I just don't cut nails, mate. I know, but the, sometimes you can't put like see when I was in my old flat, because I only had a wall. So I was like, I right. can't put a curtain pole on a wall. So I just put they we I got them at the uh the Asian traders, mate. 99 pence for a pack of six. Couldn't believe the value. I was like, how do you make money in this place? He's like, because we're running a fucking prostitute ring in the back. I was like, fair enough, my man. Got the wee hooks. Screwed it in the, in the roof, right? Yes, yes. The missus went fucking bananas, as all women I, do. As they do. This is our entity. We're going to lose our deposit. You're like, okay. You just say, okay, right? And then it's forgotten about 10 minutes. Hung my curtain up for my backdrop, right? Agnes upstairs is fucking walking her nails. You've just hammered through the so, Exactly. She just sliced her foot up. And then see when I was finished putting that cut up, she put hanging baskets on it, mate. Oh, so it's a win-win. So suddenly the hooks now become usable. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Well, I might re-look at the, the, the cutting situation. You did say uh, at least date in your laptop so there's a natural light on your face. So, you know, you can't have it all, Scott Gibson. Although, um, but that well, is interim. Cheeky Mal is... Uh, Waiting to get into the studio of doom. And what the fuck? You in a body warmer? It's you're slagging me. my fucking, you're slagging my Timberland fucking, what is this called again? A polo shirt. And you're wearing a body warmer. I'm You've been at the guess. van too much. Sure you're talking reader. to fucking hairy ass guys too much. There we go. There we go. I'm trying, I'm trying to get the first topic up here for us to discuss because this is very You can fucking try all you want. You're wearing a body warmer. Man. Don't ever. Don't ever, it's not even a body warmer. It's a no, fucking, what are you talking about? It's a fucking it's a jacket. jacket. A lot of slab, but it's a fucking you go that straight out of a fucking toolkit, mate. Well, he's taking it off now in rage. So is my t shirt, bros. Mate, if Jackie Moe don't sell it, I don't wear it. I don't know how many times I need to tell you that. Look at that chicken wing of mine, man. Pure fucking work it, man. Yeah, everybody, sometimes people have said to me, like before, where'd, where'd you get a t shirt, big man? Or where'd you get a jumper, big man? I'm like, I don't know how many times I need to say this. See if it isn't sell by the house of Jacques Moe. It isn't worn by me. I can't walk into a shop and buy clays. Jacamo, Jacamo. I'm too big a man. Jacamo, shop. Jacamo, Jacamo, show. Scream, pin, scream, pin. Did you ever hear that, the Mighty Bush? I was never a fan of the Mighty Bush, mate. Maybe if I went back and watched it, I would appreciate it. But at the time, time, that was too, like, that was kind of, 
Too out there for you? Too no, no, no out there. That was a bit too kind of... What's the word I'm trying to look for? Uh, faggy. That was a bit too kind of like... Oh, the wee kind too of funny nerdy. for you? No, 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 I don't think the Mighty Bush no. is funny at you, you, all. You, you put it down to the cool kids and you consider yourself as no, no one of the cool no, kids. No cool kids. To watch we, it. we were the cool kids. That was for like the kind of nerdy geeks. No. Well, I, I, because I consider that's myself it. a nerdy geek then because it's genius. And I think if you went back and watched it with Yaz, the two would have a fair old chuckle. I think you. I think you need to either be stoned because I wasn't into drugs, mate. Do you know what that's the problem? You were you, you were mad on the drugs. drugs. To enjoy yeah. the Mighty Bush to its fullest, I think you need to be on drugs, definitely. I, I watched the Mighty Bush, mate. and then I watched that again with my kids. That's how oh. funny it is. To enjoy your life to the fullest, you need to be on drugs, my man. Mate, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm looking at the man in the mirror, and I'm seeing an old guy every fucking day. And it's getting me doing squats, it's bringing me doing. I'm no, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no nimble anymore. I'm no. I yeah. fucked my back. I'm Mal, fucking... why, mate, it's just, first of all, 50 is just a number. And it also think, like, think, think how... Guru Gibson. But think how much has changed in, in our short lifetime, right? You've only been alive 50 years. Now, see when you were a wee guy, like, see when you were a teenager, see if you met somebody who was 50. Mate, he was kicking about in a flat cap. Aye. That's me away doing the pub something for a half and a half. Like, they were, they were literal Santa old gigs. men. Because I was like, my, my mom's birthday was last month, right? And she's 60, 60, 62 now. And, and when we were talking, because I always have this joke, my mum my mom was 56 for five years. Uh, I'll get that joke. Like, every, every she, time, was she was 29. Every time I'd say, how old are you this year? So I'm and do you know what, mate? See, once, right? I don't know what happened, but I, I either lost my passport or I allowed my passport to expire. I think it had expired. I thought you said, you've got to say, I allowed my passport to be lost. No, I think it had expired. You may run no, free, young passport. It had expired because it was like, see when I first started doing comedy, I, I had to, I didn't go on a holiday for like maybe three or four years, right? Just because you're always working all the time and you're, and you, it's like anything else. No, you don't, even then, if you didn't work, you weren't earning, right? So I was, I wasn't the skin at the start, but you were like working month to month, right? So I just I never had any to, fucking gig that's gone, man. I, exactly. I mean, I, that's what it was, right? So Anyway, started went to book a holiday, didn't have a passport, so went to the passport office in Glasgow, and for some reason it was then shut down, and the guy was going, so government cutbacks, mate. I was like, I don't want a life story, I just need to. So I had to go to, either, your options were Ireland or London, right? I was like, well, I'm not going to fucking Ireland just to get my passport done. So I was doing in London for a gig, and I was like, I'll, I'll go and do this gig, and I'll go to the passport office in London. Went down, and I needed to get my mum's... Uh, date of birth for some reason. No, your mum took you to the big city because you were scared Mama, to go alone. Get me, get me, <laughs> mate, Mommy, can we go to the palace? <laughs> you know what? I wish you had it. Come on, Scotty boy. If you're good, I'll show you the queen. <laughs> so see what I don't think my mum will show me the queen, man. she be like, we will show you the fucking the, the chapel, young man. <laughs> I had to phone her, right? So the woman says to me, what's your mum's date of birth? And I was like, 13th of June. And she went, what year? And I was like, I have no idea. She went, and the woman was like dead. I mean, like pure, oh, deadly pure serious. Aye. That was shit, Mister. Because see, the one in London, mate, had to go through two metal detectors, and I, I'm not trying to generalise, but everybody that, who was there wasn't a British, right? So it was like, where am I? It was really unsettling, and people were screaming and people were greeting because people are getting told you're getting deported, right? It was aye, fucking aye. chaos. Hello. So, I was I was sitting in this chair. There's maybe like 15 chairs, right? In a big row, and it's like four deep. It's like a waiting room at a hospital, and I'm the only white guy sitting there. So they're all everyone's sitting pure burkered up. And I'm like, all right, lads. touching your feet, not touching I, you. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to be honest, boys. I don't think many of you are getting a passport today. I'm, I'm going to be I'll see you later like today, boys. Let us, let us know if you're up to the front of the queue. I'll see. I'll put a word in for you, Jack. How many of you boys came out here in a Lilo? Yeah. What? <laughs> so <laughs> can I have the people that have came here on the live low and the right <laughs> and a person who's came here in some sort of boat to the left? Then he's got a job yet. You're fucking no chance of getting a, a all these guns are brutal, mate. Get yourself up to Scotland, man. Yeah, yeah, mate, yeah, mate. <laughs> Your daughter's a right good looker. I tell you what I'll do. Give me her for a fortnight, right? And I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man. <laughs> Stop touching my feet for a start, my man. Right, I don't work here. I'm I'm in the same boat as you. Well, not the same boat, but I'm in with you boys. All right, you're my man. You better ask. I just got out straight, you my man. Any country sandals isn't he getting a passport? <laughs> 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 Mate, how do you spell Brian Loudrop's full name? <laughs> right, yeah, I did. 
Welcome to the passport office, my man. Step forward. First question: What country did you travel from? Pakistan. Okay, dokey. Second question: How many <laughs> gold, How many Labradors did George Alberts have? Sorry, you better answer quickly, my man. Time's ticking. You shake like a fucking shake horns like a wet fish, my man. You're going nowhere. Get the fuck. <laughs> Where was chicken tikka masala invented? <laughs> Mumbai. Wrong. Glasgow. Next. Aye. No, Who please, invented? my family. Get out of my fucking queue now. <laughs> Did you or I, and I be my country, and you be your country, invent the Rogan Josh? <laughs> Answer Is this question, I'm and the passport is yours. Is a Rogan Josh a delicious home cooked meal or an international DJ? Answer quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to get my mum's date of birth, right? And see, when I phoned my mum, she she wouldn't tell me her date of birth. I had to get two things. I had to get a date of birth, and I had to get the date in which her and my dad were divorced. And I was oh. like, to the woman, I went, What? She went, Look, this is information we need to prove who you are. And I was like, but I've got a driver's license. I've got, I just need to have it renewed. She went, I'm sorry, this is what we need. So see when I'm phoning my mom, she's like, I don't know when I got divorced from my dad from, from your dad. I was like, Mom, yes, you do, right? I know because I bet you that day's burned in your memory is like a joyful date. So just she just didn't want to see it, say the words out loud. She's like, I'm gonna have to go and find the documents. And I was like, right, fine. So she phoned me back. But of course, she's like, I don't know where they are. And I was like, Mom, I am standing in the fucking passport office in London. There's there's armed guards here. This is just tell me the dates. Mumsy, me please, please, Mumsy. <laughs> told, told me the date when she got divorced. Mate, would not tell me her date of birth. She goes like, Why to me, are women just so put, vain? I've no idea. She went, just put put 1965. And I went, is it 65? She went, just put that. I went, Mom, I, I have to give them your actual <laughs> date of birth. So then I'm trying to do the maths. My head, I was like, it's no 65. I think it was like 61 or 62 or something like that. But mate, see how I'll try to fucking tell me it. Bro, anyway, my point being that I will be I'll be serious with you. Your more your more is looks like a young thing. That's what mate mum because I look so old all my life, nobody believes that my mum's my mum or that she the age that she is, right? So, does everybody think you're her, her boyfriend or something? Pure like that, mate, either she's got money or you're struggling in life. Which is it? I was like, that's my mom, you cheeky bastard. But the, my point being that when we went out for dinner for her birthday. She was doing the same as you, and I'm trying to say to her, right, think about when you were my age, right, when you are in your 30s, and you were going out for, like, lunch with my grand for her birthday, and she was in her mid-60s, like my mum is. Oh, like a fucking rinse and all that. Aye, my, my, oh, my granny, granny had, like, pure jet black, she looked like a Sicilian fucking mafia granny, jet black hair, she looked like a wee old granny, and I was like, she With was... jet black hair? My fucking granny used to dye her, well. mate, she used to dye her hair, like, if, see, my grand, she used to dye her hair, Right, and see, she used to buy nail polish, right? Mm -hmm. And she used to paint her nails and then paint the rims of her glasses the same color as her nails every That's week. That's beautiful. That is fucking she was, beautiful. She was wild, man. She was, and she used to cut her sleeves off everything because her arms were always dead hot. So she'd buy like a blouse or a cardigan and cut the sleeves off. <laughs> Just for him wrestling and that as well. The fucking gun show, man. I, she, back in the day, man, she used to fucking wrestle in the docks. But see, that's what see, I was trying. I, I know, that's but, what I was trying to say. I'm like, you're no old. I and, and and you're right because when I think about my grandparents, my granny looked the same for the seventies right until she died. I see. You know, she just looked like a granny. Aye, she was just and a granny. I think in the seventies, she was she, in the seventies. She was probably in her forties. Aye. And also things like diet has changed. Si science, technologically, there's no beer like... Even like, look at this. Right? I was saying this to Missy other day. So the missus has started the. We've joined a gym. She started this new diet. She's got a personal trainer and she's doing all the whole like measuring like macros and micros and grams of protein, grams of fat and all this, I right? All that, carry on, man. But I'm like, actually going, just think that that is now part of like a normal conversation where you would go, that's got 14 grams of protein in it and six grams of fat. I'm going, can you imagine like saying something to that to somebody? Like, I didn't even know what a calorie was or what protein was when I was young. You Obviously, just food. no. Exactly. Are you, I'm still, are you with protein I'm still to this day. Any cunt gives it, what's that fucking milk chocolate digestive chicken and many calories there? I just say, fuck off you. Into my tea. That's the only protein you eat. <laughs> That's the only protein you <laughs> But do you hey, know what I mean? Like it's that also whole... good for all your face. But the young. But the fact that we all know, we all know are that a, stuff. No, no, are aware. I are aware of it, right? But the, even that is like helping people live long. Like you're now aware that you know, you should eat more fruit and veg and 
certain proteins are bad for you or the damage of alcohol. And oh, here, see, talking about alcohol, have you heard this new radio advert that's out about self? You're jumping too much, mate. I'm just, I'm, I'm two weeks into fucking waking up at six o'clock and getting gone with life, mate. I'm and I'm fucking buzzing on the black stuff. Is that a pint of coffee? It's not a pint, it's just a big cup of coffee. Aye. Holy fuck, man. I had a Greg's coffee the other day and I was whizzing for at oh. least two hours. <clears throat> this, would, this would be an interesting one for you to answer, right? Or I thought it would be. So, Just b- before we move on for the diet calorie chat. Don't you fucking mic drop me, son. Before we move on for that micro, you just need to tell Yaz, don't worry about it, Hen. You're only going to date for a month and then you'll be back to normal. Because that's what these diets and fads actually do. We all get fucking... Hey. <coughs> wrapped up in it it lasts for a, a, a month maybe a couple of months all these cunts are doing ketos and ketos or whatever the fuck they are whatever's the fucking new green tea diet it's fucking great and the best thing that ever happened to their life for about three months they start seeing a wee difference and then they're going like that right i'll just have a fish supper now what's the point of doing it just be well, happy and get on with it thing that's, is, my, that's my that's my that's just my point of view I know, man. What, i'm just like i don't want any <laughs> trouble right i'm just telling you how i feel about the world Wait, the problem with that is, Malaka, that's scheme boy mentality and that's our thinking. Whereas yeah. we forget that our partners, your wife, my yeah. missus, they're no Scottish. They've got a different program than us. Yours is Italian, mine's English. They're no like us. Well, she, they're, they're, they're females, so they're fucking different, different gravy right for the start, right? I tell, I tell you something about I'm actually She's better. Be- Women are better than men. Oh, 100%. She's been going to the gym for two weeks now, right? And see the program that she's been doing? It's fucking, I mean, it's it's brutal, right? Even sometimes I'm looking at them and I'm going, you'll be I fucked if I'm doing that. See, after two weeks, mate, I could bounce a 50 pence piece off her ass. It's fucking solid. Unbelievable. Prove it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just need one of your cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> but you're <laughs> fucking cracking ass cheeks right against that now. <laughs> just put one in at the corner of the hey. You don't need to show everybody on the effort and show your uncle Mal your ass right now. But yeah, I mean, the, 20 the, pence uh, or 50 pence, mama. See the, the personal trainer she's got, right? It's a it's a friend of hers. She's oh, in Manchester. You better watch mate. yourself there, mate. Mate, right here. You want to hear the good stuff? Woman. Keep it going. Keep it's it a going. Woman, right? <laughs> yes. Hello. I only I only whisper this case she's listening, right? See the see the last it's the personal trainer. Yes. She's got an app, so it's all done through the app, oh, right? It's all done oh. online. But see the app, the back screen for yeah. every picture or every page. Uh-huh. Of the app I know where this is going. Is the personal trainer in sexy underwear? No way. Swear to God. Even when she's right. she's like she's, she's got she went like, What is this? I says, Is that an OnlyFans you've logged in? And she went like, exactly. No, no, this is she went, This is her app. And it is of course it's like, it's all the training hang, it's all the stuff, but the woman's like pure like sussies and everything, mate. See when I saw sussies, I was like, see if she Sexy could get, <laughs> see if that woman could put like a sheep's he don't Mal would be fucking right all the other man. Sexy suspenders and a sheep. Dress he did t- t- and summer's longer it. I fucking <laughs> love all that cap up, yeah. man. Yeah, gee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm with my nut, I've still got a wee bit of a boner. <laughs> yeah, do you sell any that ling lingery? <laughs> See, it's called sexual angry, right? Because like, it's a pit of owning the linger about until you finger them. <laughs> what what kind of stuff does your wife like? I couldn't I couldn't tell you a fucking hang about her hand, but I tell you this, I'm mad on the gear, right? So I need something that's gonna get my fucking old chap <laughs> working after overtime in. What's my what what what's my favorite colour? Anything see through or fishnet. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this lovely emerald green uh, setting. No, nothing in green, hen. <laughs> nothing in green. Where it is, right? I may have to have some sexual angry for my wife in that 14 inch Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> I Rambo in six. That'll do. Thank you. Yeah, do you sell, <laughs> do you sell dumb, dumbdos in here? How big are they? <laughs> Five inch? Have you got no, no, no dumbbells, dumbdos. <laughs> I want a couple of dumbdos and uh, butt plugs. I'm uh, looking for... Speed, ask, ask me till you get them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for something that can please the wife and if anybody breaks in the house, could fucking rattle a few skulls as well. <laughs> I was like, I was going to fucking Safeways and just getting cucumbers. No, but 
Play, there's like a... <laughs> they fucking they mailed up a... get a water in the side your a... side, man. There's a price hike now. Name organic <laughs> ones are dead. They're dead skinning you. It's not the same anymore. Remember in the nineties, you got a big fat cucumber and you buy all the smokes. It's not the same now. I reckon if I get a double a double and a, <laughs> if I get a big enough one, it's a turnshine and a fucking love weapon. <laughs> but I I want a lingerie and uh, the twelve inch Rambo. I wouldn't even know. Oh. I wouldn't even know where to start. We're getting because the thing is, see... folks now just look at the windies and go, "Oh yes," and that's about <laughs> as far as it gets. See if you see if you're a guy and you buy <clears throat> you buy stuff, but like se- sexy lingerie. <laughs> lingerie I'd, lo- I'd love to do that. We should film. We should film that for this yeah, case. Me, me walking into Ann Summers and saying I want to buy lingerie for myself, and no, just lingerie. keep a fucking I lingerie for sexy myself. Lingerie. Straight face. I'm uh, I'm actually trans and I'm wanting a, a, a nice bralette set. But I wouldn't even know where to start because this thing, guys would buy stuff for their birds. And it is all fishnets and fucking <laughs> contraptions and body stockings Aye. and all this. And then your your missus would get it and she'd be like, what? And they're like, what, what the this? fuck has he bought me? Whereas if you sent your bird to it and go, on, go and buy some sexy underwear, man, please, please. Nice boxer then... shorts back. <laughs> <laughs> but you still be like, that's still sexy as fuck, can't I? No, eat a rolling pie. And spit my face. Well, see, this is the thing, and I, and I don't know if there's anybody else out there, you know, of a certain vintage, right? Is there anybody out there? It, it goes to the point where, you know, obviously when you're dating or everything's cool, you get the fucking sexy lingerie, right? And then as you get older, it kind of gets, it's, it's, only, it's in the tap drawer and it's only pulled out once in a fucking Christmas birthday party or whatever, right? Then it just gets chopped out and it's comfy underwear. And so now I've actually got, uh, I quite think, Sexy underwear's kinky, my man. Sexy underwear's kinky or normal no, underwear? No, no, just comfy, un- normal underwear. I've man, I don't, my man. I don't care yeah. what it is. See, it's all... I can rip off of my teeth. <laughs> it's, it's all sexy. I don't <laughs> care what it is. It's all sexy. It's what it's on underneath it. It's all sexy. It's all sexy. It's You can be standing there holding a poo bag for a while. I'm going to get a fuck. I spent my teenage years wanking after a catalogue, so fucking <laughs> end sexy, you know what I mean? The as fact long as that you're underneath it. three-dimensional <laughs> is all I need. There's no air comes into it when you hurt it. It's because of the pheromones fer- <laughs> in the air. It's because your pheromones are getting maybe turned on that. <laughs> There's no air comes into it when you hurt it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, ever... I, where does that come from? I... I don't know anyone, like, in my, my personal life who has had sex with a sex doll, and I don't understand. I don't... See, like, the blow-up ones? Mm-hmm. That that must be different than the ones that are, like, fucking 40 grand. You know, the ones like that? Oh, they come in a box. Get your money's worth. Oh, I, but I mean, like, you know the ones that are, like, you see them, they're, pure, they're in a box, and they get, like, big rubber tits you can fucking <laughs> smack about. Fine, but see the ones that you blow up? Surely Aye. that's just... Rip me your old boy off as well. I get one in my suitcase once. That must be like sh- that must just be like shagging a fucking like, a lilo or inflatable. Yeah, I've rubber ring. Cocked the bits, man. That's what I'm saying. It was agony. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, remember I- that. <laughs> remember that one in fucking only fools and horses when they all inflate in the back of the van. Then blow up. <laughs> <laughs> That's when TV was TV, Mo. <laughs> remember the one Chinese just- one. That? With a big room moose. They didn't have the, the, the lingerie on it as well. They cover That's up right, their bits. Man. That's right. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, you I, I keep referring to it, but you seen the picture of that fucking uh, golden retriever with the tight zone? Aye. Something sexy about that, hey? No, come on now. There is. It's like a leg with sexy stuff on it. That'll do for me, my man. Dick. <laughs> have you ever, I'm trying to think, what's the... He's What's that program? Sexy with? lingerie on that run up chase movie that gave him. What's that show with little? Is it Little Dicky the, the rapper? Uh huh. Dave. Dave. Dave the rapper. Have you seen that? I have watched some of it, but I never followed it through. It was alright. See that, but... that first the first episode when he's got that fucking rubber ass and rubber legs. <laughs> you don't remember he's just that? Away at it. He's just pump, it's, it's just an ass with legs. Right, but he holds it up and the fucking legs are like pure cerebral palsy, like pure flapping about. There's no, there's no bones in it. So right. he just slaps this big rubber ass in the bed, pumps it, and then puts a fucking bit of tissue on a stick and then pokes it in the ass to oh. clean it. And then and then just launches it back into the wardrobe. I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck. Well, I'm saying that. They turn your nose up at that. I'm sure if anybody found a fucking wank sock that wasn't of theirs, they would be like, oh, oh of God, course. what is this? Boomerang. 
<laughs> a Nike boomerang? What? what? <laughs> a Puma boomerang? <laughs> oh, I need to use a kilt sock, my man. <laughs> I, I, I use a fucking nineteen eighty three Rangers full strip sock, my man. <laughs> and it just fits in my boy. Uh, I didn't know what I was talking. Are you getting old, right? Like, I can't hang to talk about. So far. Um, do you want to go first? Because you all know remember. Um, <laughs> the only thing I wanted to mention was uh, two things. Two, again, TV hangs. I think I spoke to you about it. Did you watch the Sex Pistols Danny Boyle thing yet? No, I've heard. Uh, I've heard mixed mixed things about it. It's great, and but what 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 I wanted to talk about is because obviously it's worth a show, uh, what worth a watch. I think it's on Apple or something like that. Six parts or whatever it is, and it's quite good. Obviously, it's entertaining. That's what it is. I don't know how factual it is, but what it made me do was listen to uh, Never Mind the Bollocks album again, right? And marvel and how genius that is. Three minute punk songs, everyone's fucking, you know, I, I, you probably never really listened to it all, but every no. song and every lyric is burnt into my memory for being a young guy. Because I remember being, I go to half my mate who stole it for his big brother. And we listened to it in my house, and we were like, holy fuck, they're swearing in a record. Aye. Listen to what they're saying. And and learning all the songs was like a fucking, you know, that like was a wee bit of fucking sergeant stripe. I, I mean, I, obviously, liar, I'd... fucking <clears throat> pretty vacant, anarchy in the UK. Just amazing. Like every so, the album's punk perfection. I don't, I, obviously, I don't know, right? Because I fucking know a young boy, but. I don't imagine anything like that exists anymore. I don't imagine there's anything that kids are getting that they're having to hide for their, their parents and then listen to it under the covers and be like, oh my fucking... Like, I just don't think it exists anymore. Probably drugs. But even that, man, even that's not... Because their their parents would have grown up at the birth of drug culture, so it's no shocking to them. They might be shocked at their children. Shocked at their sons, then, aye. But it's no shocking to them. They're, <clears> they're probably <throat> sitting after going like, he thinks he's fucking mental because he's smoking a bit of weed. Remember that time I, we were mad at not mushrooms in Amsterdam? We fucking stole aye. a joke. Killed that hooker. What? Aye. <laughs> you say you never speak about that again. Big shout out to Patrick at Zika, my hairdresser, who's now started listening to the show and he's loving it. Shout and out, Patrick. Him, and he went like that. Oh, you just go to his boys. Because you're listening to the Kunzo episodes. I said, well, mate, you're going to have to sign up as a, be a Patreon. I mean, do you mean? And he's, he's downloaded loads of them to play in the show when he's cutting hair. Don't know if it'll go down too well with the younger customers, mm. but you know. Nah. No, but All shout, Patrick. Out, shout out, Patrick. Um, I right, so the so the message is doing some voiceover for that fucking for the. I right, she did a voice. I bro. Um, Johnny Rotten was a right rotten fucker. So they've made they've had to. She's had to do more this week because apart, like I said, I've not watched it. But apparently, was there a was there a member of the band before Johnny Rotten, or was there a member of the band that got removed or something? Aye, they had bands members coming and gone. Like they were sacking them. Aye, so there was one, them, them. one guy apparently wasn't happy that he wasn't mentioned enough or what. So they've had to do another voiceover and say his name more times or something. Ah, okay. Because she was in her office the other day going, the sex business with a young man. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Right. Well, it's, it's an interesting story <gasps> because... Mal. What, what? What? I've just remembered. What? How do you feel about Two Sugars and His Tea getting taken off radio too? What? McConey? McConey. Fucking... What fuck? Who's he, who's he touched? Nothing, he's too old now. They fucking want to make it all too old for radio too. Aye, mate, they've moved him out. He's now they've taken the show off him, and he's only going down to two days a week doing something else. Fucking hell, he'll be raging. And he was, you know what? He was outside radio too getting interviewed, and I watched the interview and I thought protesting. I feel kind of sorry. He's just leaning on the sign, looking. He looks like a cool old dad. That's uh -huh. what it looks like. And he's like, "I'm okay, man. I've got lots of projects, and I've always been offered things. That I've had to say no to." And, you know, I'm just trying to take it as a positive thing. And instead of being in here six days a week, I'll just be in two and I can focus on other stuff. And yeah, you know, it's, it's a new chapter. I'm not bitter. I, I still love Radio 2. I love BBC. And I'm going, John Lyon hell, man. likes two sugars in his tea. Go on, mate. Chopped it. But see, is Nothing well, safe anymore, Mel. Nothing safe anymore. The guy, who's the guy used to work with uh, who was in the Damned and stuff like that, was in the band? He talks like this. And him and McConey, something in McConey. Sure. Aye, but the guy he used to do the double act shows with. Was that his name, Stuart McConey? No, Stuart McConey used to work alongside some old fucking radio presenter guy. 
Don't know. Right, who was like a young punk and all that, like any punk and in, indie music. He's right. new fucking Celtic his soul <clears throat> and he's doing shows for country and western. You know, just to fucking hold on and keep the gig. Mate, country and western is the only real genre of music out there. <clears throat> I lost my wife, my car, my job, and my son was shot in Vietnam, do, 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 Vietnam. Do, do, do. Vote Trump. <laughs> do, do, do. I vote Trump, <laughs> I drink beer, I fuck my wife on a Sunday night cause I'm American. Hi everybody, thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.